Okay, people, I'm back. Just had to take a break after spending over what I what felt like an hour getting my my starting character going. And we got a bunch of new abilities. A lot of new abilities, which I'm looking forward to testing out and getting more practice with. So let's let's see how everything is. So I can change my appearance. Let's take a look at look at it. That's cool. They allow us to get away with it. Cool. They actually they they allow us to get away with it. I like that. I hate it how in RP how in a lot of RPGs in the past they it was like, you couldn't change anything. You had to deal with what you got. But so far... What's this? Makami. Okay, so it's not Kato. It's a different one altogether. These... Makami. These wolf guardian spirits, also known as... Oguchi no Makami are sure to be the servants of the mountain gods. Mountain wolves were seen as the embodiment of fear and awe men felt towards the mountains, the domain of the gods that they were unable to claim for themselves. However, they were, however, they were also worshipped as protective spirits for they hunted the vermin that would harm crops and were also believed to ward off fires. As servants of the gods of volcanoes, it was only fitting that they had the ability to manipulate fire and protect against it. The Tale of Neo. The opening. Tale. Mysterious Man. So wait, we don't even get to choose our character's name? Ah, uh, I looked up a whole bunch of names for my character for nothing. Wait, what? We can remodel our house? That's interesting. Let me check again. Like, every game I've ever played that had a character creation allowed us to change our characters, n to give our character a name. Are you kidding me? We actually don't give our character a name. I'm surprised. I looked up a whole bunch of Japanese names for nothing. <laughs> ah. Boo! I was looking forward to giving my character a name. That makes no sense. The shrine, the dojo, basic actions. Yeah, let's, let's, uh... Let's, let's start some practicing, shall we? Because I'm very rusty. I haven't played Neo 1 since... Since, what? Last year? Or two years ago? I can't It was either last year or the year before. I can't remember. But it's been a while, so I, I need the practice. Basic actions. Check and change your active skills.
Equip weapon from the status menu. Wooden switch glaive. Quick attack, strong attack. Lock on with R3. High stance, low stance, mid stance. High stance emphasizes attack. Mid, good for defense. Low, good for dodging. Stance. Okay. Yep, I'm back. Just had to take a bathroom break. Grapple when next to a human is out of key or a down yokai. Yup. I do, it's not exactly the ultimate technique from Ninja Gaiden 2, or the obliteration technique, which turned your, your enemies into a, into a, into a, into a, basically an exploding cloud of body parts and blood, but, eh, is what it is. Key pulse. Recovers your key. I remember that. That's how I got my stamina back. Yokai Realm, another world born from the Yokai. Realm and Purification. When you're in a Yokai Realm, your key recovery is greatly reduced. By successfully executing a key pulse within a yokai realm, you can cleanse and dispel it. Burst counters and burst attacks. Assume one of anima. So it's like what, my, a magic meter? That's new. To unleash a burst counter that varies based on the Guardian Spirit currently in use. Yeah. 
learned this already, but I like. Be learning it. Just in case. Yokai shift. Okay. So basic same con basic controls as last as the first game but with a lot of extra shit added to it, which I'm going to have to get used to. So you're a yokai half breed, you're basically you can go at any time. I'm base it's basically like Devil May Cry. You got your regular form and a demon form. In this case, they've give they've they took the spirit stuff from the first game and gave you a second thing to do with it, which is pretty cool, really. Training ground. Dojo. Visit the training ground to practice. Fight a skeleton warrior. Fight a ninja. Suicidal attack. That's new. They couldn't do that before. Leave the training ground. Pray. That's how I saved in the first game. Summon visitor. Boons. Change guardian spirit. Level up. Make offering. See, that's a lot of the same stuff from before. Fight a warrior. <laughs> Gotta keep my gauge in check. Fight a Yoki. Oh, the horn head. Ah. A 
so used to dodging being circle, not... not X. Fight a dweller. Oh, these. <laughs> brings up the horns on my head. Okay, this is counter. I think. Alrighty, just getting the groove back. One way at a time. Gate. Cooperate to go on expeditions to complete. Playing this mode, blue gauge will be displayed. Decrease every time a player dies. If it is empty completely, the mission will end in failure. Okay, so it's basically like your co-op multiplayer. The village of the cursed blossoms, eh? All right. Recommended level one. Reward longbow. Like the first game, I'm gonna go I'm gonna tie I'm gonna use the, the mission names to title my videos because then I know what is what. All right. Uh, seems seems every seems the structure is the same as the first game. We can't customize our character's name. Boo. I, I'm I I I I'm I'm honestly I'm kind of shocked we actually don't get to do that. It's kind of like a basic feature in a lot of these kinds of games. Yeah, name your character. <laughs> nope, not this time. I wait under the nighttime cherry blossoms for the hero that will set our village free from these horrors that plague us. Seems that this message is from someone that's heard whispers of my work slaying yokai. There are no hints as to who sent it, but it appears to have come from a village called Jusanzakura. If there really are yokai there, then it might be worth heading that way to take a look. Oh, so she actually can monologue, but we don't give her a name? Come on. Well... Time to die. Again. <laughs> the Maelstrom of War knows no bounds, and even Juzanzakra, a village once prosperous due to its abundant supply of post horses and work cattle, 
could not escape the chaos. Before long, it was reduced to little more than a ghost town. Now only yokai wander the deserted, ruined village. The springtime cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms once enjoyed by the lively villagers as they went about their daily business, now bloom among deafening silence of the long departed. Yeah, it sucks. Mino province. And like the first game, we're probably gonna end up with a lot of shit and most of it will be junk. Be wise to head to the nearby shrine. Level up, make offering. Receive money or even items. Well, I'm not exactly capable of doing anything just yet with that. Claim DLC items. Smithing test. Text. Demon Horde Armor. Demon Horde Helmet. Curus. Gauntlets. Race Guard. Demon Horde Greaves. Sudama Netsuki. Smithing Text. First Samurai Armor. Helmet. Curus. Gauntlets. Risk Guard. Greaves. Neo System Data Found. William Transformation Unlocked. You can apply this transformation using the change in appearance. Okay, so they brought back the transformation jutsu setting from the first game. So, because I have the first Neo game in my hard drive, it, it gives me the ability to change into the William. And this game is set before he's supposed to show up, so... Shoulder strap? Huh. At the lose Emery to the level up stats. Constitution affects life. Heart is courage. No, heart is my key, excuse me. Courage is my key. Recovery speed and resistance to lightning. I level up my stamina. I need that. Skill. Don't have enough to do anything else at the moment, so... Graphics don't look. I should have trained more. Huh? Over for the other side. Visually, the game doesn't look that different from the first one. He got arrogant and failed miserably. Sneak up behind them. I don't have the ability to backstab just yet. Whoa. That is a big one. No way he can beat something like that. How could I have been so careless? 
How could you? I don't have anything for range weapon yet. First samurai helmet. Lone Wolf's Hood. First Samurai class. Demon Incarnate. Shoulder Strap. Amrija Earned. Small Spirit Stone, Divine Branch. Status Menu. That's a big one. A very big one. Oh lord. to death by Gozuki. Lost when you die. Yup, just like souls. first mission and they and they give us this
Already, I'm stressed out. <laughs> time that one okay they um they are really hammering in the difficulty this time mean to do that. Holy shit. Um, Team Ninja, I think you overdid it a bit. <laughs> like, really overdid it a bit.
Jesus Christ in heaven. Weep is what gets me. I'm learning. I'm learning. It's just taking a while. Red. So blue is online. Red is the game. Or is low rank. Or something. Are you overcompensating for something or what? Yeah, that swing. That swing is what murders me. I really hate how in a lot of these Souls-ish games, or ones of this kind where big enemies, for whatever reason, they torque like their center of gravity and they hit you anyway. I hate that. There's a slow spell when I need one.
Got him. Or not. Super attack. Don't want to get hit by that. Got him. Oh my god. Blood Wrangler. Huh. That was a lot. Village Cemetery Key. That was tough. That was very, very tough. Revenants tested. Out of key or yokai. Let's get some let's get some XP. Be the door. There's a little green guy, Kodama. Eh, yeah, so cute. Am I going bad? Everyone's using the glaive. <laughs> Make offering. Skill points added. Holy crap, I, I did a lot. Uh, Ninjutsu, Dexterity, Skill. Of 
equipment weight, stamina, courage. Healer blessing. Yes, please. Best one in the game. Bison Odachi. Huh, an old friend. Ugh. And there's the micromanaging, just like before. Learn new skills. I don't have any shifting skill points. But I have samurai points. Heaven. ourselves quite the amount of stuff to do. Increase your defense. Hands of death requires a clear mission clear to mission. Increases bare hand and attack damage. Okay.
regular troops helmet. Heirloom. I'm gonna turn off the headgear, so that way I can see my character's face. My character's pretty face. And be content. Okay. Well, it seems they didn't really change this much, which is unfortunate, cause... Gotta do this shit all over again. Make offering. Get rid of this, get rid of this. What's this? Kodama Bazaar. Oh, I can get more stuff. Trinket Triumph. By offering up divine rice to the Kodama, you receive items from their collections. Nice. Summon visitors with Uchaku cups, eh? Okay. Whoa, wait a minute. This is a... Odachi. 
Nice. He's an aggressive one. How's he hitting me when he's so far away? I think it's a, a wise idea to uh, practice. Practice, practice, so that way get more experience. How much wanna bet I'm supposed to go this way? Yeah. I'll go right and then head straight. Get your stuff, just go. Wooden hammer, nah. Palisade breaker. I could take it, so I can sell them later.
Yeah, a lot of the m much of the gameplay is pretty un much unchanged from the base game. Not as radical of a shift as I thought they'd be. We all know what comes out of those. Yokies. Well, he's a new one. It's a monkey. Enki Core. Mm. I have no idea what that did does, but I'll take it, whatever it is. Burst counter, consume one of anima to unleash a burst counter. Transforms you in temporarily. If you manage to interrupt the enemy's burst attack with this move, a large amount of key damage will be inflicted. Okay, so use it when he does his little red super move. Okay. Oh, he got big. He like cannibalized his comrade. That's interesting. He killed his own guy and got power as a result. Another green dude.
Edge, my items. Spirit stone. And key spirit core. I have no idea what this does. Does it like summon a monster or something? The soul cores were purified by praying at a shrine. It can be attuned. Huh. Use Yokai ability. Okay. So pair them up to get stuff out of them. Activate the core yokai ability to attune the core to guardian spirit. Okay, so you use the so it's like kind of like the Hades spirit summon in in God of War three. At least that's what it feels like. That is an interesting new addition. Yokai abilities, yokai forms, yokai everything. I'll go left and then head back right, because it looks like where I need to go is in that direction. Whereas this seems completely optional. I think.
bandits. Longbow. I need the bows. Learn skills. Dachi skill. Slice seven eight before knocking them to the ground. L one the moment before an enemy is attack connects. Okay, so it's a counter. I'll take that. Sounds useful. What was that? Regular arrows, and I'm guessing that's explosive arrows. Or some other kind. Don't know, really. Tore him apart. Key pulse removed from the area. Don't want to fall in the water. Sacred arrows. Huh? 
One over from that side. Another shrine. If I ever find a spear, I'll use that. Flux. Increases your defense from your perma fortification. Tonfas. here before. I'll fight him. Drop attack on the air. I missed it. A 
missed it. Come on. Need my coins. Doesn't look like this goes anywhere. Last saved shrine was right there anyway, so I'm fine. Okay, for a level one, he was pretty tough. See what's behind here. Nothing, nothing. do that. Bad move, buckaroo. Motherfucker. Harakiri sword. Aw. Killed herself in shame. Poor thing. That's not a way to, good way to go.
we got bandits and monsters. Seems times did not change. Well, then again, this is taking place right before the events of Mr. William show up, so... Go lower that ladder. Probably a good idea. Oh, I really need the backstab technique. There's monster fog number two. Nope, no cannibalism for you, boy. Oh, he was hiding in a chest. The son of a bitch. First son's a bitch. Ooh, what's this? Shinobi robes. Leaf glide. Shinobi robe. Ooh. Looking like Hinata over here.
Gord and Rita earned. Drop rate. Amulet, Harakiri, or Harry Carry, how however you say it. Two soul cores, eh? I can go up here, huh? Don't know what for. You know, in some ways, I'm actually glad this is a much more traditional leveled game than s instead of an open world one like Bloodborne or Dark Souls, because I wouldn't know where to go, to be perfectly honest. Hell, I still don't. Uh oh. Yoki. cut off his horns, but didn't really stop him. Yeah, burst counter. I love that horns appear on my head. Sundered him. Sundered him into oblivion. <laughs> Damn it, I lost everything. Son of a bitch. I got careless. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I forgot that you don't have to act I'm so used to games with bows and arrows where you have to hold down the trigger to do anything. So, whenever I hold it down, it flies off. It's just... I'm not used to that. Ah, see? Damn it. Wasted arrows.
I mistimed it. Mistimed it. Some of them can't be stopped, I forgot about that. Well, we may not get a Naginata in this game, but a sight, I can't really complain. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just a flame. Okay, get the spirit back. Get what's over here. Seriously, how Japan ever rebounded from most of its population being perpetually at war like this, I'll never know.
Okay. Ugh. Fucking Yokies. And I have to defeat the Yoki if I want to get to the back door right there, but he's being difficult, to say the least. A spear. I'll take the spear. Thank you very much. Let's try Great Sword instead of the other thing. Well, that was painful.
I'm so glad I have this weapon again. Whoa. Gotta go there, but let's unlock this. Just who are you? Take this and leave me. Spare me life. Got a lantern plant flute. Fruit. Lost everything. Okay, so he gave me something. I stance. Kodama. <laughs> Poor dude. Divine Rice. Since we open the door, let's go over here. Rosewood. But soldier Kiris. Uh, selection settings. All right, so let's keep going this way. What did he give me? I have no idea what he gave me. Lantern plant, use to increase your anima. 
perennial plant of the nightshade family. So it, what, gives me back my magic? Because that's what it seems like. Onwards. Sarigama. That way. No, you don't. Fuckaroo. Heads up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. What was that about again? Get going, little dude. A cat? What's this? That is a weird looking fucking cat. Uh. What is that? A fucking cat? That's a weird looking fucking cat. Looks like grandma or some shit. I have no idea what this thing is, but it's weird. Okay, we got a cat that's just rolling around and I have no idea what it's for. And there's a weird gauge right there. Did I ever get an essence for a for what's its face over there? Don't think I did. Guess not. Was he some kind of buff debuff cat or something? I don't know. Well that was pointless. Whatever it was. Well, we got something. Don't know how to get up there. Uh-oh. Guess we're in a yokai realm or something. I think we're in the shadow realm or something. あやかしのあやつ。人の断りから外れたるものと知るべし。何人人形の技にて気の器をかけさせ。さすればその木枯らすことあたわ。
Huh. So I gotta clear this whole area or something. Remedy. Yokai key limits. The dark realm is a profoundly mysterious sinister yet beautiful realm which Yokai dwell. Uh So there's a trade-off. My key recovery is decreased, but my anima fast is does while well in the dark realm. Huh. Wait, what was that? Destroy the creature whose impure energy generates it. Okay, so we have to find a certain monster in order to get rid of the whole place. Uh dispel the whole thing. Okay. We gotta go kill the dude who's controlling the Shadow Realm, more or less. Frog prevents me from opening it. Aha! No Uchi Katana. Ah. Mm. Ronin's Waste Guard and Summoner's Candle. Ah. Broken Shrine. Inner Shrine Keen. Key. Key.
That's okay. Summoner candles. I'm gonna save those. I don't want to waste them. Alrighty then. Skills again. Beer. Ronin Waste Guard. Auto Grave Recovery. Not sure what that does. Looks for efficiency. Try that. Huh? All right, let's go save at the shrine.
All right, keys used. Oh, cherry blossoms. Uh oh, he froze me, the bastard. Back here. Alrighty. Oh, I think we may have reached the boss room. Because if this isn't a boss room, I don't know what is. Cherry blossoms. Uh oh. That don't look good. Mezuki. That's, um, unfortunate. Mizuki. I might have to save my demon form for when I do that.
apparently got a rage meter, apparently. Eraser. Roll it. I've never got that. Hmm. Any longer, huh? Bazooki. Vermilion Switch Glaive. Yes. Mizuki core. So we took out our first mini boss and our first true boss. Nice. a nice scythe. Yeah, forgive me if I keep calling it scythe because, well, I'm stuck with it. Nice. Go forward. Wait, before I do that, let me check if there's anything around. I doubt it, but... Doesn't look like it. Okay. He sent the letter, huh? Tokichiro. <laughs> Hidei. Probably the family name. Relies on his wits, peddling stones for a living. 
A monkey. お前は綾かしを倒す綾かし。だけど宿っている魂は紛れもなく人だ。ゲーセンだとか汎用だとかそんな世評は笑い飛ばせ。A our dreams and find one piece. Wait, wrong story. <laughs> oh, I now got a monkey. Those are Yes, those are a good one. Go you. Scash is again. I'm not good. You know that several I know. I'm not going to ask my. Neo two. That was all the first level, by the way. <laughs> Dawn of a dream. Possessed by a Masaru by a spirit division. Yes. Masaru the monkey. Monkey. Oh, that was long. Seems that the continued increase in yokai is due to the ceaseless war. It's not just Mino you know, that's falling into ruin. The constant battles of the samurai has spread as far as Awari and Omi provinces, but hey. This presents the perfect chance for us to make a name for ourselves with my smarts and your muscle. I'm sure there's nothing we can't overcome together. Counting on you, Hitty. I'm so disappointed that we couldn't even give our own character a name. Like I was gonna I was gonna call her um a uh, Harumi or something. Yeah, Harumi. But the game didn't give me the option, so I'm just gonna call her that by default, I suppose. Soul Core, Superior 5 left in the mission. When you left the mission, cannot be attuned. Okay. So he's aware of what the of the power is everything in an age of war. Every time a new war breaks out, they sell like hot cakes. Gotta deal with the Okine bandits. Okine Nice new map graphics. Not sure if that really means anything, though. Okay. A forest veiled in darkness, eh? It's 
So that's an optional mission. I can change a transform into William. But I'm not gonna do it. No point. Why would I do why would I do that when I why why would I tr transform into into him when I could just turn be, you know, my character. Gaki. Gaki is a yokai that was once human and cast down to Gakido upon dying due to the sins it committed during its lifetime. Described as a as a realm of eternal starvation. Gakido is described as a realm of eternal starvation and suffering for those in the afterlife. The pitiful Gaki is unable to eat normally as consumed causes its body to burst into flame. It is for this reason the Gaki's power prowls our world, searching the flesh of dead warriors to ease its hunger. Oh, look at that, it's got a real pot belly look. Yoki, the classic Yoki. Human turned into an Oni, or demon owing to the power of spirit stones. This form of Oni is generally muscular, horned humanoid who dwells in the, fo in the mountains. Shoten Doji is the most famous example, along with the Oni fought by Momotaru. The Peach Boy. Every February in Japan, a ritual called Setsubon is ta undertaken where citizens scatter beans to drive away Oni and pray for the for their good health. Enki. Enki is a monkey that has been transformed into a yokai by spirit stones after a lifetime of cruelty and abuse by humans. You see, you see what happens when you're not nice to animals, especially monkeys? Now they're pissed, and they want their own planet of the apes. This imposing, large and intelligent yokai has a single horn on its head that is said to be the source of its power. Horn differentiates Enki from other simian yokai known as Hee-Hee, -he, said to originate from monkeys that have lived an incredibly long life. Monkeys have been considered mountain gods or messengers of the mountain gods and legends all over Japan. While these gods can bring blessings, they are also terrifying reminders of the indomitable might of the mountains that tower over mankind. The monkeys that live in these divine surroundings are both so alike and unlike humans that they might be most familiar connection to the spirit world we have. Huh. Mezuki is a demon with the head of a horse. It can be seen in various picture scrolls depicting images of hell torturing the wicked alongside the bull-headed demon Gozuki. However, its appearances in Legend have also placed it outside of its underworld domain. Most notably, it is one of the demons on parade in the famous Hiyaki Yagyo, Night Parade of a Hundred Demons, that is written about in the in the Yuji Shui Monogatari of the early 13th century. And there's this bad boy who gave me trouble earlier in the, in the level. Gozuki is a de- Oh, crap. You gotta fight more of these things. Including the Mezuki. Yeah, that was- that's kind of an issue that I had with the first Neo, like... Unlike Bloodborne... And I'm willing to assume other Souls games as well, where it was like a quality over quantity. Like, you had a special certain amount of boss enemies for certain levels in the, in, sto in, the, in the story, and then once you fought them, you never had to fought them again. Although there were exceptions to a few, like the one poison cloud monster in Bloodborne that had that messed up face with all the flesh flapping around. Yeah, th those are like one of the few exceptions where you ever came across multiple times. But by and large, most of the bosses you fought were pretty much unique in their own area. And it was like... You know, you got your money's worth out of them. Neo 1 had this very annoying habit of re reusing the same bosses over and over to the point that they got tiresome. Don't get me wrong, I had fun with it, and there were a, a good number of bosses I liked fighting. But once you face the same chain ball, you know, throwing ogre for the first, you know, five times... It gets boring after a while, so I fear, I fear that's what they're they're gonna do again, much to my chagrin. Oh well. Uh, 
Okay, Ghost Guy is a demon with the head of a bull. It can be seen in various picture scrolls depicting images of hell, torturing the wicked alongside the horse-headed demon Mezagi. In Buddhist literature, it is more commonly seen under the name Abo. It is said to appear in our world when, even when its official underworld duties do not call for it, simply desiring to commit acts of evil. So he just does it because he's bored, pretty much. Well, I guess uh, when it's a slow day uh, managing the sp uh, souls in hell, just come out and do some torturing in the human world. <laughs> out of boredom. Kodama is thought to be a tree spirit that's transformed upon coming into contact with human souls have been lovingly used for great periods of time. While the tree spirits are deeply connected to the gods who govern this earth, they are largely emotionless beings. Hey, Kodama, on the other hand, brims with curiosity and much like an innocent child. It tends to grow attached to the human tool that gave it new life and will not part with it willingly. Some even say that the yokai is not the tree spirit, but the tool itself. Scampus. That's what they called it. It doesn't even sound like a Japanese name. Unless there is one and they just didn't, unless they just decided to not use it. A Scampus is a yokai in the form of a, of a particularly corpulent cat. Oh, it is known to entangle itself in the legs of passersby, making walking a little more difficult. It's hard to say it possesses any real threat. In fact, some people claim an encounter with this fleshy feline soothes their weary bodies, among other pleasant effects. Huh. Masaru is a guardian spirit that takes the form of a monkey. Throughout Japan, monkeys have long been thought to be messengers of the mountain gods or the mountain gods themselves. This is perhaps not entirely unusual, seeing as they look so similar to humans and are yet so unlike us. At the Hiyoshi Taisha Shrine, a monkey known as Masaru is worshipped as the messenger of the mountain god. Sano Gongen. Sano Gongen is the sun god and god of Mount Hiei, a mountain to the northeast of Kyoto that, because of its location, is an inauspicious direction, was believed to have the power to ward off evil. Tokichiro always felt a deep connection with Hiyoshi Taisha Shrine due to its similarity to its own to his own childhood moniker, Hiyoshimaru. It is said that this led to his devout worship of Sano Gongen. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Mysterious man with the murder. Her mother, a protagonist, forced to blah 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 blah, flowing through their veins, carves out a lonely living, ridding the world of yokai. One day, an anonymous letter is delivered to the protagonist, requesting assistance in exterminating yokai. Being able to control their power in the ensuing battle, the protagonist falls to the ground in agony. Zen, the sender of the curious letter, a man named Tokichiro, makes his presence known at last, using the power of the spirit stones to calm the protagonist's yokai half and save their life. Invites the protagonist to join his journey to begin an alliance. I, I'm sorry. I hate that they did not give us the means to name our character. Like, come on. Even in Mass Effect, even though you were known as Commander Shepard, you could still give yourself a first name if you pl if you wanted. I mean, yeah, no one would say it, but at the very least, at the very least, it's uh, you had that connection. I feel robbed. Like. I gave I I gave her the appearance I want, but at the same time, it feels weird not having to choose a name to put in a profile. It's like they completely either they either that was intentional or they just forgot about it. Tokichiro is a traveling peddler of spirit stones, skilled at earning the trust of others and prone to getting a little too carried away. He has survived these turbulent ties by capitalizing on his sharp instincts and street smarts. He also possesses the rare ability to soothe raging yokai, transforming them from violent Aratama into peaceful Nigitama. He is incredibly ambitious and dreams of rising to power far beyond his station. Miyoshino was a yokai. What the? A yokai and a mother to the protagonist. So she's basically a female Sparta, a demon lady. Huh, interesting. 
The quiet life she led with her young child was brutally disrupted when they were attacked by a mistake man wielding a staff using the very last of her strength she entrusted a dagger to her child Uy, that sucks mezuki what's his name masaru the monkey okay Feral and Brute. I'll do these tomorrow. Okay. So, we did one level, but it's late, so I can't really go do any more. But so far, so good. Hard, but good. I have a bad feeling the game, they didn't learn. That Team Ninja did not learn from the whole jumping difficulty with the game. That was a sticking point that I had before. So... The game, I have the feeling that what was great is still in the game from the first game, and I love that I could actually have my own personalized protagonist, but at the same time, I have the bad feeling that a, a good chunk of stuff that I complained about wasn't really addressed. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but so far... Difficult start, but still promising. Huge variety of weapons. So, a lot of them, yeah, a lot of them are technically old ones, but I am kind of, I am glad to see them as well as a, the scythe. What, or switch glaive, I don't know. I'm just, I'm calling it a, sli a scythe out of habit, because that's what it is. <laughs> Ugh, so yeah. When I come back tomorrow, we'll do the two, uh, yokai shifts. And then we will... ...get to, uh... ...more stuff. Omnio magic. Uh... Anime on magic, I really, really hope to see again at some point. I need it. The slow spell, which I ended up learning late in the lat in the first game, ended up being one of the most useful spells I, I in the in ever, and I really, really want it. Beginning of a samurai trophy. Sweet. We'll do this mission and then this mission. And before that, the both of those will do the dojo and do the new you learn the the yokai ships. So that'll do it for tonight. For the first two streams of Neo 2. First one, of course, was me crafting my character, which took a long time. A very, very long time. And then we got back and we did this whole long first level. Where we <laughs> certainly got our asses kicked, but I'm, you know, I'm relearning the game. And learning the new stuff that they added to it, which so far seems promising. Like they took, uh, the spirit shit from the first game and combined it with the new yokai stuff and I'm still getting used to it the, the new yokai counter thing is weird but I'll, I'll, I'll learn it to the best of my ability so that'll do it for tonight's first outing 
I'll be back tomorrow with more. So, good night.